and today I'm going to unbox and review this Bratz World Collector's Edition Maylin. And these are the ones in the kimonos. So they're really cool. We have Kumi over here. Yes. We found Kumi. her at a little thrift store in box. Mm -hmm. We unboxed her. This was before we did these classic Bratz openings. Yes. So there's no video for her. Right. But uh, we're really excited. This is our second one. This is our second one. And I noticed it says R exclusive on the front of this one. So I she was R like a that's always dress exclusive, yeah. So that's kind of so cool. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, she was it didn't say that on her box, so I think she was the only one on the line. So maybe she was yeah, the she only was the, Yeah, she was exclusive. the only exclusive, yeah. I think. Toys R Us exclusive on the line, yes. I love I love the kimonos. They're so detailed. I know. Like they're impossible to unfasten. Like there's so many layers. I know, they're just like amazing. So pretty. So um yes, yeah, really excited to have another one of these. And the boxes are so detailed. Yeah. These uh, shadow boxes that they come in are so cool. And look at the back! In the back, it's like you're peeking in and seeing all the beautiful layers and details. There's of actually some words at the bottom. Oh, there are some words, yeah. Celebrate your passion for Far East fashion with this one-time only Collector's Edition Bratz Exclusive. Wow. I love these! Oh! I love this line. This is Bratz World Collector's Edition. There was also Tiana. Um, so it was Kumi, Maylin, and Tiana. And I don't think there was ever another Maylin, was there? Um, was I'm there? pretty sure there was not. <laughs> then there's another, another Maylin. No. So, um, yeah, so that's really cool. So we got Maylin, and um, we're going to go ahead and take her out of her beautiful box. So and, and show you all her accessories. Show you all our accessories. How we're going to save she's. this box. Though. We are going to save the box. We have Kumi's box somewhere, too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. We're back, and Maylin is out of the box, and she is beautiful. She really is pretty. Oh, I love her. Her outfit feels so nice and soft and it's silky. So too. It's so soft beautiful. and silky, just like Kumi's. Mm -hmm. She looks and beautiful next to Kumi. She looks beautiful next to Kumi. They have the same like designs on the fabrics, but mm -hmm. they're different colors. It's really cool. Like there's little like uh, Japanese taverns and stuff on the sleeves. Yeah, it's like the same. Um, and the dress, but like the there's flowers, and it's like the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah pattern with different colorings. Fabulous. All right. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so we'll show her now. And she, her face is beautiful. Uh, she's got she's got stars in her eyes, which I really love. Her eyes are like gray, kind of mm -hmm. grayish brown, and she's got orange lips. She's got little uh, beaded. beaded tassels yeah. coming down from her flowers in her hair. And she her hair looks really short in the back, and I'm like, her hair's really short, and then Mom said it's probably not short, it's just all tied up. I bet it wouldn't be short yeah. if you took it down out of that bow, um, I'm sorry, bun. But I don't want to take but it But we're not going to do that. Because <laughs> it's beautiful. She's got two little strands of hair there hanging. And now to the outfit. Yes. The kimono. Mm-hmm. She's got the pink little tavern, the pink and purple and yellow taverns. And then inside the dress, we have these flowers, which are blue and orange and green. It's so pretty. And she's got a bow of the same color. And then there's blue ribbon up front. you got to show the big bow on the back. And then there's, yeah, the big bow yeah, on the big back. big bow. Isn't that pretty? And the sandals are, like, one of my favorite parts of this line. Mm-hmm. If you can see, there's little white socks and little ribbon sandals. And there's flowers on the side of the sandal. Yeah, they're so delicate and pretty. Like little clogs almost. Mm -hmm. She's on a stand. Yeah, she is on a stand right now. And it uh, it was so far up in there that we didn't We just said, you know what, let's leave her on the stand for the review. It'll be easier. All right. And yeah, so, so she actually stands up. I don't so, have to sit her down. Yeah. Like a lot of uh, dolls I review, I have she's to sit standing down. standing up. And so the accessories. So she's got a little... What would be the word for this instrument? Um, I don't know. I don't think sitar is right. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> well, I was going to say banjo. I don't think that's right banjo. either. Um, she has an instrument. Yeah, a little. She has a stringed instrument. Yes. yes. But it's very pretty, mm -hmm. and it's got some butterflies and flower designs on it. Oh, I'll yeah. show it. Very beautiful. And then we have these little, like, barrette things that go down in it. Like, you could style the hair if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, there's, like, three of those. And they all have different designs on them. I'll bring them up. Yeah, bring them out here so they can see a little bit better. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. 
Like so much detail on even the littlest accessory. I love it. Yeah. And then there's this butterfly clip, which it opens. It's like an open closed clip like this. Yep. Like a regular clip. And then and then there's a barrette that's a butterfly as well, a black butterfly. And then there's a mirror. Her mirror. Pretty. It's very cute. It has it has designs on the back too. So everything has yeah, designs. Everything's really And then this is her designed. little change purse. Little uh, bag. Yeah, her little bag, like a little cinch bag. Actually, we left Kimmy's like attached to her attached outfit. Attached to her outfit. But for some reason. So I don't I was, know why we left it. Yeah, I don't know why we left it attached. We could probably take hers off. We'll there. take hers off yeah. too because we snipped yeah. hers off. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and then we have this fan, which I think it was originally supposed to open and close, but then little things became loose, so now they're just kind of dangling around. Yeah. So it kind of doesn't close the way it should. So we just left it open. Yeah, we are leaving pretty. it open. And then there's this umbrella, which I'm nervous because I ripped Kumi's umbrella. Yeah, we're not going to um, try to open that we're up. We're not going to try either. to open it. It does open. It is functional. But I think it is made to open. But we're going to leave it be. And it can. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done it, but right. I ripped it the time I did it. Yeah. So, so we're not going to do it. I don't want to do it. But it's pink, and it has little flowers. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Everything is so delicate, like you're afraid to touch things. Yeah, I know. It all seems really <laughs> fragile. Like, a, a lot of old brat styles, it seems so fragile, and then you're actually playing with it, and it's really not, you know? Like, they're actually really durable, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, like, oh. one thing about brats, like, wow, they're so beautiful, I can't touch it, and then when you actually start playing with it. Yeah, actually, actually most of it is really playable. Yeah. But some of this stuff, I'm not totally sure if it is, so yeah. we're going to kind of be careful with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the, these accessories are probably really playable. But, oh, like yeah. the mirror and stuff? The I love... The paper stuff, I don't know if that The paper is. stuff, yeah. like yeah. the paper... I love it, though. And stuff, yeah. It's so cool. I love the different... Um, it's just so pretty. ...branches of flowers. There's also super silent stuff mm -hmm. and a star brush, so... The yes. traditional Bratz stuff. We gotta, we gotta keep some of the classics there, right? This yep. is one of my favorite like Bratz boxes possibly ever, by yeah. the way. That's why I keep them. So we're keeping the box, um, and um, we can put her back into the box for display if we want to do that. That was their intention with mm -hmm. the whole shadow mm -hmm. box. So um, I think that's a really cool thing, too. A really cool feature. Yes, it's similar to the princess box. The princess box was designed to be a shadow box, too. Mm-hmm. So another one of my favorite boxes. <laughs> really excited to have her. And yes. um I love I love love. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any of these Bratz World um Tokyo um dolls, tell us all about who you have. Yes, tell us. And tell us who your favorite one is. Y yeah, which, let us know. If you don't have any, which one would you like to have? Which one'd you like to get? Um thanks for watching guys. Bye! Bye.